Welcome to AGK's Vinyl Life. I'm your host, Anthony Kay, and today is Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. And on this week's episode, I'm going to be doing another Vinyl Finds episode. That's right, another Vinyl Finds episode. It's been just under a month since I did the last one. And the reason I'm doing another Vinyl Finds episode is because it's been a very uh, busy month for me, uh, the last month or so, uh, with some pre-orders that I had made even as far back as the summer, you know, August and September pre-orders finally shipping to me uh, in October. Uh, plus I did have some VCLT and things I had received from other members of the VC, the vinyl community. And of course we had the third record store day drop uh, just this past weekend. So obviously I'm gonna be showing you what I got on the third and final of the record store day drops. Although there is a Record Store Day Black Friday coming on at, at the end of November, uh, I probably won't take part in Record Store Day Black Friday as I've seen the list and there's just nothing that really interests me on the Black Friday list. So I doubt I'll participate. Who knows? I don't think so. So a bunch of stuff to get through here. So I'm, I'm not going to waste too much time. I did record a vlog uh, on Record Store Day. Uh, a short, you know, a few little snippets of my trip down to the record store uh, for record store day. So I will just segue to that now. And here's my trip down to Rick's Recollections in Port Credit, uh, Ontario, where I do all my record store day shopping. He is my one and only source for record store day. I don't really need to go anywhere else. I always find what I need from Rick pretty much. So here's my trip to record store day drop number three this past Saturday and then we'll be right back to show you what I got. Well, here we are, Saturday, October 24th, and it is drop three of Record Store Day 2020, the final drop of the original Record Store Day 2020. I'm in my car, and I'm on my way to the store to pick up just a couple things, hopefully pick up the couple things that I want from this final drop and uh, let's head out and see what I get. So here I am. I've arrived at my local record store, the record store I always come to for record store day, as you can see there. And there's nobody here. I am the first one in line, 8.30, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, one hour to opening time. And there's absolutely nobody here. So that's great. I guess I'm first in line or the only one in line. Let's see what, let's see what transpires over the next hour. So here we are, drop number three. Uh, about 20 minutes till the store opens. There is now a few people here, as we can see. There's about there's only about five people in line, so uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I will update you all in another 20 minutes or so when I go in the store. I will uh, uh, record and show you all what's going on in the store once I get in there. So I will check back in in a few minutes. So I'm just waiting to check out here. I have now done my record store day shopping. These are some of the bins here. As you see, I got a stack of records here. Uh, one for a friend of mine and uh, a couple the ones I was looking for and uh, a couple of extra ones. Uh, then we got three bins. We got a few people in the store. So I'm just waiting to check out and I will show you all what I got after I check out. So that was my trip to Rick's Recollections in Port Credit, Ontario this past weekend. Just a few little snippets of, of my trip down there and being in the store. And let's get on with what I actually bought at Rick's on this past record store day on Saturday. Now the first one in this pile is actually not from that trip. Uh, it is one from record store day drop two that I had mentioned in my record store day drop two video that was on its way to me and I didn't have it to show at that time in the video it arrived a couple of days after I'd done that video so this first one was actually from drop number two but I actually had to order it off Discogs because it never appeared at my store here on drop two and that was Britney Spears oops I did it again the remixes and b-sides it's a companion to her Oops, I Did It Again, an album, which was one of her most famous albums, absolutely, one of her biggest selling albums, the second album in her catalog, Oops, I Did It Again, and this is a Record Store Day exclusive, and basically contains, side one is remixes of all the big hits from that album, and side two is B-sides um, uh, that were released in on various things 
from that album, from that recording session. So nice to have that. It's a nice compliment to the, uh, you know, the original Oops, I Did It Again. And that was from Drop 2 and came in just, that, like I said, after my uh, Drop 2 video. Uh, but now, from this past weekend's uh, uh, Record Store Day, these are the things I got. First up, from one of my favorite artists of all time, Mr. Alice Cooper, hence the shirt. Alice Cooper, live at the Apollo Theater, Glasgow, on the 19th of February, 1982. This was recorded during his Special Forces Tour. Um, that's right, the Special Forces Tour. And this is a two LP set. I haven't spun it yet. I haven't had time to spin it yet. But this was a two LP set. Record Star Day exclusive, recorded on the Special Forces Tour. And that's the tour that Alice <laughs> doesn't remember too much of because he was seriously into the uh, substance abuse alcohol abuse and so on this is just before he uh, got himself all cleaned up so it was a, it was an unusual tour i was at this show not this particular show in glasgow but i did go to the special forces tour and it was very very different from his uh you know obviously his billion dollar babies tour and welcome to my nightmare tour and the alice cope cooper show tours all of which i had been to previously it was a very strange tour he, had, he came out in this sort of special forces outfit and his the guys on stage had you know camo outfits on they looked like they were some sort of militia it was a very unusual tour um but you know legendary all the same a, a very interesting period in, in alice cooper's uh, uh career and there's you know two lps lots of great stuff all his big hits are here and of course it did feature things that were you know recent then which was of course the flush the fashion and special forces which were his most two recent albums so there were quite a few things from those two albums like who do you think we are model citizen um seven and seven is grim facts pain those were all in those couple of albums but and then all the other hits are here looking forward to spinning this this was my number one want for all of record store day 2020 actually from drop one drop two and drop three this was my number one want and so happy to actually get it uh, next up, one that I had not really planned on buying this past weekend. There were two that I got additional to the ones that I wanted. But when I saw it and actually read about it, uh, I decided to go for it. Um, and that is the Judas Priest, Sad Wings to Destiny, their second album. This is the remaster, reissue, recorded. And, and the main reason I got this is it's because it actually is done yeah, uh, on 45 RPM, so it's a double LP, 45 RPM pressing, so I'm sure this is going to sound sweet. It says it's done color in color, so it's going to be some sort of colored vinyl. I haven't seen it, and it's also, you know, very embossed. The front cover is beautifully embossed. I just really like that way. This is all embossed here, and it, even the, the song titles and everything is all embossed here. So I decided to grab this one. It was a, you know, spur of the moment pick up and said, you know, I don't have this Judas Priest album, and if I'm ever going to get it, this is probably the best one to get because it's a 45 RPM pressing. So Sad Wings to Destiny, Judas Priest. Uh, the third one I got uh, on the weekend uh, was the second one I had. I was tossing the idea around. I said, you know, when I go down there, I'll have a look at it. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll read the cover, take a look at it. And if it appeals to me and the price is reasonable, I'll grab it. And the price was reasonable. And I do have one other album by this man um, that I really, really, really enjoy. So I decided to pull the trigger on it. And that's Hugo Montenegro, Hugo in Wonderland. And what this is, is Hugo Montenegro performing, uh, interprets, as it says here, the music of Stevie Wonder. And uh, featuring, you know, Tom Scott, Larry Carlton, Carol Kay, among others. And such songs as Living for the City, Too High, Superstition, You're the Sunshine of My Life, My Sherry Amour, Higher Ground, Don't You Worry About a Thing, Shooby Dooby Dooby Doo Da Day, You've Got It Bad Girl, and All in Love is Fair. So I'm looking forward to hearing this because I do enjoy Hugh, Hugh Montenegro's music. So uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good spin. I think it's going to be a very funky, jazzy kind of spin. So looking forward to that. Now, the next one is one that I only found out, only found out the day before Record Store Day that it was dropping. It was not on the Record Store Day lists. Um, similar to a release by the same band 
on the last Record Store Day in 2019. 2019 Record Store Day, Thin Lizzy dropped their Black Rose album. It was on, on the official Record Store Day list. The only way I actually knew about it at the time was through uh, email from Thin Lizzy themselves because I subscribed to the uh, official Thin, Li Thin Lizzy uh, newsletter and they had said that it was dropping. But it was dropping only in the UK, so I actually had to order that one last year uh, on Discogs and get it that way. And it was Black Rose, and what they had done is it, they'd remastered the original Black Rose album, and then there was a second disc which had a alternate take, alternate version, demo version of Black Rose, which sounded really great. So there was rumor this was going to come out this year, but I didn't see any official listing on it. And of course, I knew it was going to be a UK. If it did come out, it was going to be a UK only release. But my record store, my guy at my record store, saw it on his supplier's list and managed to snag one copy only for his store. And I'm so thankful because I was first in line that I was able to grab it right away and get the only copy. Because this was a record store day, UK only release, but I got it here in Canada. And I'm so happy because Thin Lizzy are another one of my favorite bands of all time. And this is Thin Lizzy Chinatown. Deluxe Edition, had the same treatment as Black Rose did last year. Beautiful embossed cover, beautifully embossed cover. And once again, they've done the same thing. Remastered the original Chinatown album on the first disc and on the second disc, an alternate take, a demo version, alternate version of the Chinatown album on disc two. Really looking forward to spinning this and so happy to get this record store UK only release here in Canada. And I got the only copy that came in and really happy about that. So that wasn't a planned, uh, there were only three that I had planned on going down for and ended up with another three, two that I, that were, you know, spur of the moment buys because the price was right. And of course that Thin Lizzy, which just, I was so thrilled to find that, 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 that it had come. And the last two that I picked up on the record store day, the first one, one that you've seen a lot of people show, very, very popular uh, release for this record store day. It's live at the Monterey, international pop festival the who it's their complete performance uh from sunday night june 18th 1967 the complete performance at the monterey pop festival which has only previously been, been released in bits you know bits and pieces of it but never the entire thing has been released before and this is on I've, i haven't opened it yet this is on a beautiful red white and blue striped vinyl has on it substitute summertime blues pictures of lily a quick one while he's away, the whole song there. Happy Jack and my generation. It's going to be a great spin. I know it is. The Who. Very, very pretty common one that a lot of people showed on their Record Store Day videos. Live at the Monterey Pop set, set, Festival. And the last one from Record Store Day 2020. There's always a Zappa. Every year there's always a Zappa on Record Store Day. And this day was no exception. And I think I've seen one or two people show this. And I um, but not too many people. This is Zappa. You can't do that on stage anymore, the sampler. So happy to have that. Always enjoy the record store, the Zappa record store day drops. And this is, you know, uh, I believe it's on like two different colors of vinyl, a yellow and red transparent vinyl to match the cover. Zappa, you can't do that anymore on stage. And that is my final record store day 2020 pickup for record store day 2020. Now the next few, I'm just gonna to try to blast through these pretty quick. The next few are things that, some of these things have been ordered as, like I said, as far back as August. Uh, you know, a couple of them were ordered in August, some in September, but they didn't finally ship until October and I didn't receive them until October, um, though they were bought and paid for in previous months and just, you know, waiting to, to ship. The first one on the list that I could not ignore, could not not get, was this Yes from Songza. This was an unbelievable deal on Amazon when I saw it. Um, I had to go for it and I'm lucky to get it because you know when I ordered it on Amazon, I just, I saw the price and I said, there's gotta be something wrong with the price. This is a four LP, 180 gram, four LP live album from their 35th anniversary concert. And this is a four LP live album. Now normally four LP live albums, 180 gram new live LP albums, they go for you know a pretty penny but this was actually 32 dollars on amazon an unheard of price 
for a 4LP 180 gram pressing. So, you know, for $32, I was just like, yeah. I mean, it's yes, it, 32 bucks, you can't go wrong. 4LP, I was like, there has to be something wrong. There has to be a catch to this. Maybe it's going to sound terrible or it's going to be flimsy vinyl or, or, or released by some rinky dink record company. But no, official release, pressed by Ear Music. So, you know, a, a quality record pressing company, Ear Music, a uh, 4LP set. And what I didn't realize until I actually got it the day it actually arrived uh, is that it was actually a limited edition. There were only 600 of these pressed. And I got number 557, hand numbered, 557 out of 600, only 600 released. And not only were they, um, uh, not only was it a hand, num hand numbered for LP, but they were actually on four different colors of vinyl. A yellow, an orange, bear with me. A red, and a blue. And the eighth side of this is actually, and I doubt you can probably see it, but the eighth side of this has the Yes logo etched on side eight, disc four. So not only for 32 bucks did you get a four LP set, but in four different colors of vinyl with et etching, hand numbered, an incredible deal. There must have been something wrong with the Amazon pricing, but I'm so happy to have that. And a few more here. Let's see. Uh, uh, shortly after that, uh, this was released, a very popular release. Uh, Guns N' Roses, Greatest Hits, the double Greatest Hits album. Guns N' Roses, Greatest Hits, were previously only available on CD. And this pretty much gives you anything, everything and anything you could want from Guns N' Roses. They are all full length tracks. Nothing has been edited down like a lot of times, you know, you'd get single mixes and whatnot on Greatest Hits albums. But this is a double LP. All the best stuff from Guns N' Roses is all the original full length songs, a fabulous spin. Basically everything you'd ever want from Guns N' Roses. Another release from uh, the beginning of October Ace Freely, Origins Volume 2. Yeah, Ace Freely, Origins Volume 2, where he does a bunch of fantastic covers. This was released on a beautiful sort of blue and white splooty uh, vinyl. Uh, such fantastic covers on here as Good Times, Bad Times, Space Truckin', I'm Down, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Lola, Manic Depression, uh, as well as a, a Kiss song, She. So Ace Freely, Origins, Volume 2, Fantastic Spin. Then there was a little thing called Amazon Prime Day. That's right, Amazon Prime Day. And being a member of Amazon Prime, uh, uh, Amazon Prime is not the biggest of deals, but I did find, I think, three, three great deals on Amazon Prime, really good deals. Uh, the first was... The Cooker, The Tone Poet by Lee Morgan, Tone, po Tone Poet, Blue Note Tone Poet by Lee Morgan, a fantastic jazz album. This had been sitting on my want list for a long, long time, but it was always too pricey. And then on Amazon Prime Day, they slashed the price in half, and it was just like, yeah, finally, I can get this album, a fantastic jazz album. Tone Poet, The Cooker, Lee Morgan. So happy to have that. And then a couple of synth pop albums, or pop albums. Uh, and a few people had recommended this album to me um, quite a number of times, and I never had pulled the trigger on it. You know, I'd had it sitting in my cart, you know, watching for a good price one day sort of thing. Sort of thinking about it, maybe I'll get it one day, maybe I won't. Um, but I had a lot of recommendations. I said, yeah, Anthony, you, Anthony, you like pop, synth pop, and all that, and dance pop, so you'll probably really like this album. And then on Amazon Prime Day, they had a deal I could not refuse. It was one of those, those deals on Amazon Prime where there's countdown. It's only on for like an hour. It was one of those countdown deals that I just happened to be on Amazon Prime at that moment. The deal was on. It was only on for a few minutes. So I jumped on it. And it was Carly Rae Jepsen's dedicated album. But what they had done is they had a deal on. because This is her from 2019. 
her dedicated album, some great pop. And in 2020, she released Dedicated, the B-side. And what Amazon did is they released these as a package together on Prime Day, both of them for less than 20 bucks, both of them, less than $10 each for the albums. And they really complement each other. So sort of happy to get those because not only were the, you know, not only were they, you know, a third of the original price, but you got both of them. So, you know, they were actually, you know, the two of them, you know, each one was like less than 10 bucks. Yeah, so it was a no-brainer. And they're great albums. I've spun them. They're really great. Enjoy them very much. Some great pop. Apparently Ray Jepsen, dedicated. And the complimentary, the follow-up, uh, dedicated the B-sides. Uh, really great Prime Day deal. Now, next up is uh, this one I ordered way, way back in early August. I ordered, paid for, and all the rest of it. And the shipping, it kept getting a delayed release over and over and over and shipping. And finally, finally showed up in the middle of October, uh, like three months later. Um, and it's from one of my favorite composers of all time, Mr. Ennio Morricone. And this is the second in a th series uh, called Lounge. This, in a series, I had one that was called The Westerns, which I'd showed in um, a previous video. This one's called... This is what this one's called lounge. It's the series is called themes and your Morricone themes This is the second one. I've gotten in this series. It's called lounge, which is all his sort of loungy Lounge music type pieces from various films a two record set and it is on a colored vinyl um, And I believe it includes a gatefold. It's got movie posters in there I haven't all had a chance to listen to it yet or open it 3,000 numbered copies only Music on vinyl. I love music on vinyl pressing, so I am excited to hear this. And I probably might even be spending this one later today. And I think it's next in my playlist. So, Annual Marcon Lounge. Fabulous music from one of the greatest composers of all time. Uh, next up, released earlier in this month, their first album in 19 years. We're talking Blue Oyster Cult and their The Symbol Remains album. Uh, which I am still digesting. It's a good spin. I'm not a big fan of the first side other than the very last song on the first side But the second side through to the end it really picks up and it's a really surprisingly Great album from Blue Oyster Cult. A Symbol Remains. First album from them in 19 years and a fabulous spin And I'm enjoying this a lot. Maybe I'll do a review one day on it. We'll see one of my seven minute reviews I don't know. We'll see but I'm still digesting this album, and it's a great spin. Blue Racer Cult, Symbol Remains. Uh, another one I picked up uh, on release day earlier in the month, uh, just because I didn't have anything by this artist, and it was just like, you know, if I'm going to have anything by this artist, I might as well grab this. And, you know, I pre-ordered it at a really good price on Amazon. And this is basically all I will ever need from this artist. And it's, you know, give me some truth, John Lennon. This is the 2LP, Best Of, and this is pretty much, this does it for me for John Lennon. Everything I probably would ever want from John Lennon on this album. A lot of people have shown this, talk about it. I'm not going to waste time talking about it, because a lot of people have shown this album. Uh, John Lennon, give me some truth. Uh, also, really, really cheap on Amazon, and one that was missing from my collection. I'm a big Iron Maiden fan, as a lot of people know, um, but I never had a copy of the very first album on vinyl. And this was released, 40th Anniversary Edition, on Crystal Clear Picture Disc Vinyl. The first Iron Maiden album, simply titled Iron Maiden. And as you can see, it's on this kind of a, a cool, clear, transparent vinyl picture disc thing. And it sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. People knock picture discs, but I have no qualms about this. Plays great, sounds great. And nice to finally have this one missing, one of the... One of, a, one of a, a couple missing albums from my Iron Maiden vinyl collection to finally have that in my collection. Uh, next up, a really economically priced uh, album that dropped uh, a couple weeks ago or a week ago uh, from a great UK band, uh, Slade. And this is Come On, Feel the Hits, a really, really cheap, economically priced greatest hits pack from from Slade. It's got all our great songs on it. Come on, feel the noise. Cause I love you. Take me back home. Mama, we're all crazy now. Now, Goodbye to Jane. Squeeze me, please me. Run, run away. My oh my. Little Sheila and more. Really great little greatest hits pack to have some, you know, most of the Slade that I have, 
on vinyl is all really old and scratchy and worn. So nice to get, you know, some fresh, freshly mastered and re repressed slate and this little package. So economically priced, less than 20 bucks. Another less than 20. There's a lot of really economically priced albums lately. Uh, less than 20 bucks, this, this thing. Great collection. Slade, come on, feel the hits. And the last few here, the last three here, I haven't heard yet. Uh, they're my most re recent uh, purchases, releases, whatever. Uh, one, this was one I'd actually pre-ordered. Uh, another one I'd pre-ordered way back in early September on Amazon. It was supposed to deliver at the end of September. Uh, it was supposed to deliver at the end of September uh, and uh, or, or the very beginning of October. But uh, they, I guess they ran out of stock or whatever and mine was delayed um, a few weeks actually. But it, fi it finally came in and that is of course the print Sign of the Times remaster reissue. And I believe this is on a peach colored vinyl. And this is the two record set. Happy to have this. Haven't had a chance to spin it yet, but definitely looking forward to spinning this one. Print Sign of the Times. Uh, and this one who just came in last week, uh, I, you know, I'd seen that Yes album, you know, a month ago, over a month ago for such a fantastic price. And then uh, a number, another member of the VC had pointed me towards this one and then I turned, we were, we were doing a live stream talking about this album with, uh, actually with Naz Nomad. And he had shown this and said that he'd found it on Amazon for a fantastic price. It is a brand new release. It only came out about a week ago. Um, but once again, a, a crazy, crazy price of under $20, under $20 for a two LP remastered pressing, quality remastered pressing, pressed at Optimal Media, made in Germany. And this thing, you know, 180 gram. And I hear, you know, from, from people that have got this, they say it sounds incredible. It's yes. And probably the last great album they ever made, the latter. And right now, you know, here in Canada on Amazon, you, if you look it up, I, it's it's under the twenty dollar mark, which is just insane pricing, insane pricing. So the latter, yes. Waiting to spin that. Last but not least, just arrived yesterday. I had I had pre-ordered this. I'm a big fan of this guitarist. One of my favorite guitarists of all time. I have at least at least a dozen of his albums, uh, with live albums, studio albums. Uh, his work with uh, Black. Co Country Communion, uh, his, also his work with Rock Candy Funk Party. So I have at least a dozen, probably more albums by this gentleman. And his new album just came out this past Friday and just shipped to me yesterday. Joe Bonamassa, The Royal Tea. And I know already I'm gonna enjoy this because I really love jo Joe Bonamassa. I've, I've seen him a couple of times in the last couple of years in concert. Amazing to go see live. The Royal Tea, Joe Bonamassa. Really looking forward to that spin. And last but not least on my Vinyl Finds video, these albums came to me courtesy of VC members. That's right, VC members. Um, and the first two here are VCLTs, um, which I was not expecting to get. And I had actually made a little deal with uh, Mr. Naz Nomad for some albums that he was planning to get rid of. And I said, you know, um, we can work something out. Uh, in trade or whatever, in pay and trade, we we came to a little deal. Let's just say that I'm very, very happy with, and he was more than generous to me with. And thank you very much, Naz, David, Michael. Thank you very much. But he surprised me with a couple of VCLTs in the package from one of my favorite performers of all time. As everybody knows, I'm a big Transvision Vamp fan, uh, and Wendy James. So he sent me this, this really cool. Transvision Vamp, if looks could kill, CD single. That's right, a CD single. And the thing that's great about it is there's one live track on here that I have never seen anywhere else. And what and the really cool thing about this is it actually opens up the little flippy wheel things, like so, these little flippy wheel things. And back in the back there is the music CD tucked in the back. So a really cool concept for a CD single. Transvision Vamp, the if looks could kill maxi single, I guess you call this. Um, and this was a VCLT and thank you very much, David Michael, for this. I will treasure this absolutely because you know I love Wendy James and Transvision Vamp. And then he also sent me this one here, which I remember him showing me in one of his videos when he went to the UK last year. He did a video and he actually showed him, himself getting this at a UK record store and he passed it along 
to me. And it's Wendy James Grease Monkey, which was released, I believe it's a single from her Racine album, which is very, very hard to find. Um, so Grease Monkey, and it contains the album version and a demo version. Seven inch single, UK, UK press, seven inch single, Grease Monkey. Wendy James from Transvision Vamp. Thank you very much, David Michael, Naz Nomad, for this VCLT. You blew me away by sending me those things, and I will cherish them always. And I'll be sending some VCLT your way, too, very, very soon. And now, the things I got from David Michael, and thank you, for David Michael, for getting these to me very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've just doubled, probably, my, my Japanese pressing collection. <laughs> And these all came from David Michael. All of them are in incredible shape. The vinyls are all pretty much near mint on them. And most of the covers are, are you know, VG++ to near mint. Um, and I'm really happy to have this whole lot of Japanese pressings. I love Japanese pressings. I love the sound quality. Some people, some people love Japanese press, pressings. Some people hate. It's real mixed bag. I'm a big fan of original 70s Japanese press, first pressings. First pressings. And these are all Japanese first pressings, and I'm thrilled to have them. Bachman Turner Overdrive, not fragile. One that I have not been able to find a decent Canadian copy of um, for years. And so to get this Japanese press, and this sounds fantastic. To get this Japanese press is absolutely thrilling. Sounds fantastic. The next one up, B BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive again, the Japan Tour. Japanese pressing, uh, you know, great live. The sound quality, the recording of it is not the greatest, but certainly the pressing quality is good and it's, and the performance is fantastic. So BTO Japan Tour, first Japanese press. Next up, and this album I used to have many, many, back in the day, I remember having this album. I certainly didn't have it with an Obi, but I do remember having the, the, Japanese, the Japanese press of this album. I don't have it with an Obi. I think I found it up used somewhere and had, had traded in and long ago, and so happy to have this back in the collection because this is an outstanding performance, Deep Purple in concert, outstanding performance, and once again, a beautiful Japanese pressing with the original Obi strip. And this is from their heyday. This is, you know, Speed King, Ring That Neck, Child in Time, Mandrake Root, Highway Store, Strange Kind of Woman, Lazy, Never Before, Space Trucking, and Lucille. An absolutely spectacular performance from Deep Purple in concert. First Japanese press. And also from Deep Purple, well, not really from Deep Purple, but a member of Deep Purple, John Lord, legendary keyboardist from Deep Purple, his Before I Forget solo album, Japanese first pressing. pressing. I haven't had a chance to spin it yet, but it looks, it looks mint. John Lord, Before I Forget solo album, Japanese first press. Next up, a uh, Japanese pressing of an album that I absolutely love from a man I, that I love uh, and group I love, who I mentioned earlier in the video, Thin Lizzy, and he was the vocalist who, of course, sadly passed away. And you can, you know, I've talked about him in my Thin Lizzy video and many times in other videos. This is Phil Lynott solo in Soho, a first Japanese press. Sounds absolutely fantastic and so happy to have this in my collection. First Japanese press of solo in Soho, Thin Liz, uh, Phil Lina. Also, uh, ja um, Japanese first press, we got a little bit of Ted Nugent and Double Live Gonzo. That Double Live Gonzo album by Ted Nugent, and this is a great performance. Say what you will about Ted, Ted Nugent, he knows how to shred a guitar. So, a fabulous spin and a nice Japanese pressing on the Epic label. First Japanese press. Next up, Viva Roxy Music, their live album. First Japanese pressing, the live Roxy Music album. I haven't had a chance to spin this yet, but it looks gorgeous and I'm sure it'll, it'll sound incredible. Uh, Viva Roxy Music, first Japanese press. And last but not least from, from the stash, stash that I got from Naz Nomad, Mr. David Michael, thank you very much once again, is Headstone, The Best of UFO, a really, really great double LP. One of those, one of those Japanese-only comps that you see come around. There's, there's been many over the, that, that came out back in the day where they would redo these comps, these two LP comp compilation albums from bands, 
and release them only in Japan, and this is a no exception. This is Headstone, uh, the best of UFO, which features all the really great UFO songs from their entire career, including uh, a couple songs from the Michael Schenker solo, um, and the side four, which is live from the Hammersmith. So side four is all a live side, live from the Hammersmith. So looking forward to spinning this. I haven't had a chance to spin it yet. But UFO, Headstone, the best of UFO. And all those are the things I picked from, up from Naz Nomad. Um, thank you very much, Naz. And then I, oh, and one more thing from Mr. Naz Nomad. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band live, 75 to 85. I used to have this back in the day. I had the CD box set version. Nice to finally have the uh, LP box set version. And it's in really great shape. It's got the original booklet in it. And uh, all the records are like mint. They are like mint. And it's got the booklet. And it's got all the original slip covers. I put them, of course, in better projectors. Um, so thank you. That that was the other thing from Naz Nomad. He found a copy of this. And I couldn't, could not, you know, he didn't need it. I said, Anthony, you need it. And I definitely needed it. So thank you for that one as well. And last but not least on our video today, two things from Mr. Ron Baudry. If you know Mr. Ron Baudry, famous VCR who does a lot of audiophile talks. Ron, I got the, I picked these up from Ron Baudry. He had them available. And so I grabbed these from Mr. Ron Baudry and they're both first presses in mint condition. Sound fantastic. The first is Best of the Doobies. Doobie Brothers, first Japanese pressing. Best of the Doobie Brothers, first Japanese pressing. So happy to have this album in my collection. I've seen it here and there in bins over the years and never found a really decent copy. But to have a first Japanese press in mint condition is definitely a thrill. Thank you, Mr. Ron Baudry, for that. And also from, from Ron is Roxy Music, Country Life, first Japanese pressing with the original band artwork. Roxy Music, Country Life, first Japanese pressing, mint condition. Real thrill to have this. And that are, is my vinyl finds. Record Star Day drop number three. New vinyl finds from Amazon and whatnot, um, VCLTs and things from the vinyl community, a real hodgepodge. It's been a crazy, uh, crazy month of pickups, uh, more than I could imagine. I mean, especially with these two big, this big bundle that came from Naz and Ron, um, and like I said, some leftover things that should have should have come to me uh, earlier, but were delayed in pressing and all and all popped my way uh, this month when you know some of them should have been come to me in September and August. That's it, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, uh, please don't forget to like the video if you did like it. If you don't like it, then don't like, don't like it. But I hope you like the video and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, as I try to do a video like this every Monday or Tuesday. And I also uh, try to do a live stream now every couple of weeks. I'm doing live streams every couple of weeks. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is at AGK underscore Lifetime of Vinyl, where I try to post a spin of the day every, every day. That's it. That's all. Hope you enjoyed all this. And uh, I will see you all very soon in my next video or maybe in a live stream next. You'll never, you never know. That's it. Take care. And as always, rock and roll, everyone.